Hey everyone, welcome back to the Kansas Collective for your weekly dose of wacky. As always, my name is JJ and I'm here with my sister Elle. And today's episode, instead of a cooking demonstration for Kansas cooking where we create a family recipe, we are instead doing a review of store-bought pies and seeing how they relate to our family's creations, which usually are a bit off kilter, not particularly normal, and often substituted. Who has pumpkin pie when you can have gooseberry? Even better. So for more on today's episode and the pies we'll be consuming, here's my sister. Hey everyone. So today we have with us five different pies. I tried to get most common pies that people have. Although you will note that there's no pecan pie here because I am highly allergic. And also I've never seen a pecan pie in our family that isn't burned to a crisp and then covered in chocolate or some other sauce. So anyway, we have an apple crumble, a pumpkin, chocolate, chocolate silk, and a coconut pie. They didn't have some of our more famous family varieties at the grocery store, such as lingonberry, chess pie, mince beet pie, probably because no one else eats those, so lucky them. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the pies and give our review. Okay, we're gonna try apple first. Though. Oh boy. Let's see. Oh gosh, it's oh, a little it's, mushy. It's a little, it's, it's okay a little though. Flat. It's okay. Oh geez. There's a lot of apple. Ready? Uh, I guess. I feel like I'm on a good old baking competition. I'm gonna pretend I'm one of those judges. You're Nancy Fuller. Okay, let's not go too far, Duff. So. I would say this one is good spices. I mean, it's cinnamony. The flavor is. We like the cinnamony. It's a little, the, the texture is what's a little, a little questionable. Goopy? It's mushy, but the apples are also tough, so. Undercooked and overcooked in the same bread. It's like Mima made it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there'd be alcohol with it if Mima made it. I think that's all the apples. Not bad. I like the cinnamony. For a day. Okay. Moving on to the pumpkin, pumpkin good old pumpkin. Which, pumpkin, funnily enough, might be my favorite pie. But I like my pumpkin pie spicy. Spicy. I want yeah. all the spice in the pie. Detracts from some of the bland food we eat. I want to know that I'm eating the pie. I want it to bite back. Because pumpkin, it has a proclivity for being a rather bland flavor, flavorless. So when a certain cousin of ours makes the pumpkin pie and doesn't put any pumpkin pie spice in there. It tastes like you're eating styrofoam. So let's hope that this is not a styrofoam pie. Okay, getting a good slice there. It's not bad. Not a not horrible. Bad. Not the best pumpkin pie I've ever had before. Not. The crust sufficient. actually isn't that bad. No, the crust might be the best part of the pie. And I don't usually like crust. But not sufficiently spicy. I need more spice. I, I need it to lighten up a little bit. Also needs a little, little, you know, cream, little whipped cream. Oh, well, you can't live with that hydrogenated you can't. oil. You can't. You just can't do it. And then you can use the containers for years to come as your Tupperware. You never have to buy Tupperware. Okay, so now we have the chocolate. It's got a nice, nice whipped cream. Actually, it's got some it's chocolate chips. Amount. Of course, I didn't get any chocolate chips on my piece. This feels yeah. like a family creation. Was that an accident? Where we'll never know. One person gets everything, and the other person, the person that no one likes, gets the um, shitty piece of pie. Okay, well, I'm gonna try it. Oh uh, well. Okay, that one I like. That might be the best one so far. That was pretty good. Not bad. Is it because of all the sugar, the chocolate, and the Cool Whip? Possibly. I'm not saying high standard, but some standard. I liked that one. A fun, an interesting story, though, in our family that's well known. Mm -hmm. We had a relative that he loved pie. Pie was his favorite dessert. Favorite thing. But he would never have just one piece of pie. Mm -hmm. He had to have two pieces of pie, but not two pieces of pie back to back. He would have a piece of pie prior to eating his dinner. He would. Then eat his dinner and then have a piece of pie afterwards. His thought process, his wisdom was, well, you want to have the pie first because you might choke to death or have a heart attack in the midst of dinner. 
and then you're going to die with no pie. Right. And how can you die without pie? This is true. Many a meals were delayed because of his pie time. Hey. We don't judge. Don't mess around with pie. We don't judge desserts. Okay. Now it's the... Now we have chocolate. Mine has a little this bit is of... the chocolate silk. Chocolate silk. Oh, fancy. The Hopefully fancy chocolate. It's silky. Mine's got a little coconut, so i got to dig through to get to the chocolate. Okay. I didn't get any crust, but you know what? Oh, boy. Oh, really she's uh, crumbling. Oh, 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 it's messy. I don't like it as much as the other one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Something it's the crust. It. It's kind of just like... I didn't like the flavor. The flavor was a little off. I didn't like the flavor. Something they put in there to make it silky. I don't know how I feel about you. Okay. Not well. Oh, God. Coconut. <laughs> oh, God. Coconut. I hate coconut. Least favorite flavor. Overrated. Really? Oh, God. You want some rhubarb? Not particularly. You got rhubarb. Okay. You ready for the coconut? Oh, God. My coconut looks really sad, so well, at least yours is put together. All of these are kind of sad. Sort of like someone. Shame. Okay. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It doesn't even taste like coconut. It's gritty. I don't like it. I made some more chocolate just to... I got no coconut. That. I don't like coconut. I got all so coconut. I would be unhappy. Like, I just got whipped topping. It's too textury. I didn't even taste any coconut. Mm. I tasted whipped Make cream. This chocolate. This feels like a family pie. Just the whipped cream. Yep. This one's my favorite. Are these things Kansas approved? Probably just no. this regular chocolate one. I would give it, what would you rate it? A six. I rate the chocolate a six. Out of ten. Yeah, out of ten. Preference. The pumpkin a five. Apple four. Regular or chocolate silk for coconut gets like a negative two. Not into the coconut. I'm a harsh critic. So the regular chocolate gets a six. The chocolate silk gets a three. The uh, pumpkin gets a three and a half. The apple gets a, <laughs> a two. Three and a half. Gets a two. Um, 3.25. And the uh, coconut um, zero just because it's coconut. I like coconut. I didn't like this at all. I, this was, was no bueno. It was flavorless. It was not good. It, it tasted just like whipped cream. Yeah. If I wanted whipped cream on crust, I'd make my own whipped cream on crust. It was um, paltry. Yep. Pathetic. Well, Sad. there you have it, folks. A good rate in here. Pie. Hit or miss. When in doubt, make your own yep. homemade. Just yep. don't let our family make it. Nope. And your life will be far better. Nope. And watch those ovens. Because stuff goes up quick around here. They burn. It really does. Okay. Well. As always. Thank you for coming. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, we did kind of, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Like this video. Subscribe. Uh -huh. Let us know what you want us to rate next. A review. See if it's Kansas approved. So, yep. Have a good week, everyone. Thank you. Good luck. Goodbye.